Hi, welcome to my art studio. This is where I paint and where I store my art supplies, my art business supplies. I'm gonna be showing you how I function in this space and how I store my stuff. Come on in. So I'll start off with showing you the most essential things in this space, which are a heater for when it's cold outside, windows for natural sunlight and aeration, and also a strong ceiling light for when it's dark outside. I also like to have electricity and a Wi-Fi connection, but those aren't the most essential things. The way I function in this space is that I kind of store all of my stuff around the room and the middle of the room is left empty for me to work in. Starting with my workspace, which is the middle of the room, I have a makeshift desk made out of two wooden stands and a plank that I use for smaller projects or whenever I kind of need a desk to sit at. And then I have this easel that I use for larger paintings and standing up projects. It's really important to me to be able to move around depending on the lighting and how I feel. So I can do that with the table. I can also do that with the easel. I also have a cushion in case I want to kneel on the ground or sit at the heater. So I kind of use this space as like a dance floor for me and my easel and desk. I'm never in one place. It's always changing. It's what makes it interesting. I even sometimes put my canvas directly against the wall if that's what I want to do. I have a chair to go with my desk. I also have a stool to work at the canvas if I want to sit or prop my computer on. So that's my space and now I'm going to show you around the room. First of all we have a trash basket. Super practical for all the trash. I always have trash, I always have things to throw away, and I put it all in here. Then we have this corner over here, it's another makeshift table. It's where I have most of my brushes. They're just put in these glass jars. I have so many brushes because they're not of the best quality and I don't really take care of them that well. They're of all types of textures, so I like to keep them. If I need a certain brush for a certain style, I'll use that. Maybe one day I'll get more fine-tuned with my brushes and I won't need as many, but for the moment, I keep them all. And we have the windowsill. It acts kind of like a table. I use it to put stuff. There'll be paper, palettes, brushes, all types of stuff on here. I also have a jar of polar brushes here and some more palette knives in a basket. I also have this jar of suggestions. It's just a place where I put ideas and suggestions of other people. Whenever I want some idea, inspiration, or to improve, I'll go in this jar and check out what people have said and suggested to me. So then we have this car on wheels. It has my oil paints, my palette, and some jar caps at the bottom. I like to take it with me to wherever I'm painting at in the room. It's not in the best shape, but most of the stuff in my studio is second or more hand. And I work with what I have and it works for me. Continuing on to this place over here. This is another makeshift table where I put all of my in-progress paintings that are waiting for another layer that just need to sit that I'm not working on for the moment. Here I have an old CD rack that works perfectly for storing my 15 by 15 square board oil paintings. The 10 by 10 ones in centimeters don't really fit that well. They kind of fall off. That's why I sometimes just put them down here. These are all of my candle paintings that I'm going to be selling at my next market, whenever that is. The larger board paintings and stretched canvases don't fit into the rack, so I just put them down on this table. If I don't have enough place, I'll put like something above them to put more stacks of paintings, or I'll store them on the windowsill. I also have some palettes right here. Underneath this table is where I store some stuff. So I have my smaller size stretched canvases, a whole bunch of them, and then some in-progress paintings that I'm not sure if I'll finish, but just putting them there for the moment. And then some rolls of bubble wrap and foam paper for packaging. Then I have this large IKEA rolling storage unit. I don't really use it with purpose. It's kind of just there. It has large shelves for me to put stuff if I need to. For example, this small easel that I sometimes use when I'm at my desk, some canvas, a basket with stuff like broken paint brushes, a blow dryer, and other things that I might be able to use to create some cool texture. 
And then way at the bottom, I have this holder where I put all of my kind of like failed paintings for whenever I want to test something out, I can just grab something from here and not waste a good canvas on it. So after that, we're going to move on to my main storage space, which are my three sets of shelves. I made a decision to purchase them this year and they really made a difference in clearing up my space and my organization and all of that. So down here, I have my market supplies. So my tent tarp, tablecloths, prints, boxes, just everything I need to make my stand look nice and presentable. Then I have my plein air painting kit, which is just an old toolbox. Here I have my print and print packaging supplies. So I have my print paper, my print cutter for cards, my label cutter in case I need it for a market. I have a whole box of cards in here, my camera and camera gear. Here I have my sketchbooks, a box of colored pencils, some more sketchbooks and art books. I have my certificates of authenticity for my limited print edition, a set of drawers that I usually take with me to my markets. It has string, wire, scissors, pens, stickers, anything I possibly need at a market. And then way at the top, I have a box of inks for my printer and a box for all of my woodworking tools for when I make my frames. And then over here, I have some more packaging supplies like business cards, tapes, bags, plastic bags, cardboard envelopes, anything I need for Etsy shipping. And then over here, I have some mini canvases, mini canvas boards. This shelf is my boyfriend's painting material. He paints with acrylics. And here I have my clothes box, which has any clothes that have paint on them that I use in my studio or old clothes that's ready to be cut into rags, like anything that I can't use outside of my studio, basically. Comes in here and when the box is full, I'll choose something to cut up and turn into rags. So it's kind of like a cool thing to have. Then I have this really cool set of drawers that has different types of papers, prints. And then down here I have this box with all of my smaller framed paintings that are ready to be taken to markets and stuff like that. They're already wrapped, so all I need to do is just take the box with me and I'm all set. I also have my larger silk paper here for packaging orders, paper for my A3 sized prints, and a few A3 sized prints. Then at the bottom I have these tubes. I don't know if I'll be using them anytime soon, but I keep them and then a tripod. Moving on to the next shelf, at the bottom I have all of my frames, then I have a box with all of my pending oil paints, so all the tubes that I haven't started using yet, some mediums, then my acrylic paints that I don't really use anymore. Here I have a box with all of my really new paintbrushes, some gloves, my box of rags, so anything I've cut up and am going to use as rags is in here, and then all of my solvents and gesso. And then here are some ink supplies, some modeling supplies, so clay, knives, stuff like that. Then some tape, actually a lot of tape, some more ink, some structure paste that I made myself, some jars, liquid, just a place to store stuff. And then way at the top, I have bubble wrap and some more storage contraptions. Over here is an old fridge. I have my oil pastels, my soft pastels, an art supplies catalog, my oil paints from back when I wanted to start oil painting. I have a full bag of these things. And then way at the back are some woodworking supplies. Here's just where I hang some of my art shirts. Down here are some larger sized blank canvases. Moving on, we have the door and some more canvases. So those canvases I've already started working on and are in progress. And then on the door, we have this shoe storage unit that I thought would be super cool to use in my studio. It just has a lot of things that I use on a daily basis, like masks for when I use turpentine, pencils, tape, scissors, rulers, erasers, charcoal, you name it, you'll all find it in here. 
yeah that's basically it if you're interested in following my journey to becoming a better artist feel free to subscribe and see you in the next video